Hey everyone, welcome back to Game Vine, and my name is Dave, and we are wrapping up the reviews of Silver with Silver Dagger. Let's do it. As a disclaimer, this is a review copy from Busy R Games. Thank you so much for providing us with the review copy. I'm digging on Silver. If you've seen our other reviews, I like this game. I do recommend it, but this is the final um, expansion now the last one i reviewed was coin i liked some of it but it wasn't a, a must have in my opinion so the dagger is going to be scrutinized to see if we need it because we have a whole bunch of powers and cards to choose from what sets this apart from all the other ones other than the beautiful color and the beautiful art i really think this is the best and i'm going to be keeping all the cards in this box because it's super cool so it's winning on that front but let me show you the production and um, what the cards do again i'm not going to show you how to play if you want to figure that out that's in the silver amulet video i'm just going to show you how this varies up the game. Let's go. All right, so this is what comes in the box of Silver Dagger. Now, we always look at the middle piece and evaluate and say, is this the one for us? It's cool, but it is tiny. So I can barely go ahead and focus up, see the detail here. You can barely make out the detail, but it does have a cool handle. I don't know, this is probably my third favorite. I still, I think the coin is my favorite out of the four sets. Now again, you get a whole bunch of cards and various colors, numbers, not linen finish, but great art. Again, all their art is cute, beautiful, and interesting. So uh, we actually get some cardboard components here and I'll explain those a little bit more. Again, we don't explain how to play the silver game in these videos. We just explain what you get on the cards. So uh, let's evaluate that now. Let's go over these cards here. So the zero here is super cute and might be putting my puppy out of commission. Let's read it though. Okay, so when face up, subtract one point for each card in other villages. That might be pretty good. And yeah, that might be a hard toss up, but I do think the cuteness of the puppy is probably gonna make my deck in the end. All right, so uh, the number one here is view one face down card in any other village, yeah, whatever. All right, so this one is a divide. That's interesting. Lowest score wins, remember that. So half the sum of your cards rounded up. Mm. Yeah, that's the number two that I'll be putting in my deck probably. And number three is a lion. I'm a Leo, so let's check this out. Uh, no other players may switch, remove, or add cards to your village. Yep, I like that one too. And number four is a really lengthy one, the zombie here. You may flip this card face down and place it in a previous player's village. This card may never be placed on top of the discard pile. Nah, whatever. Again, too wordy for me. Keep this card in the village face up and after drawing instead of discarding it then discard any other two cards that could be good to get rid of higher cards so all right so the dolphin guy he's pretty interesting flip over all other cards in any village yeah like him he'll be definitely making my village cut all right so the seven has to be powerful now view the cards until you see one with a value of four or lower then turn that card face up interesting powerful but not as powerful as the other sevens all right, this bunny's pretty cute. Turn one card face up in any other village and either use its power ability or switch it with one of your cards. Hmm, I like that eight. All right, this is cool. I like the uh, background here, really cool. View any two cards. Simple, but effective. All right, so this is where these cardboard components come into play. They're very interesting. So uh, add the top card from the deck to the top card of your private deck. If you don't have a private deck, you will start it. Private deck will be next to you and you will be the only one that can draw from it. So it's another drawing option. So it's interesting uh, to say the least and something I might put into my deck, but the tins are all wacky. Now this guy is super cute and is the mascot for the dagger um, on the cover here. So uh, change direction of play. Hmm. Again, simple, but effective. I might use him. All right, this guy looks like uh, the Doctor Who, um, the one I think the latest male one. All right, so this one, view one face down card in any village and switch it for one card in any other village. I don't know, it's kind of lame, but it, it, the 12s really aren't my favorite. Okay, so this guy's pretty cool. Looks like he comes from where the wild things are. All right, at the scoring, if the sum 50 score zero for your cards and all other players add 50. Wow, that's crazy. This for a furry. I don't know if I would use him, but that just, uh, it's interesting just to have. That's like outlandish. Okay, so those are all the cards. Now let me tell you what I think of this set. 
So that's Silver Dagger. I like it. This is my third favorite. It's beating the coin series. Again, ultimately, I like the coin metal bit over all of the other ones. But that's the only thing that I think this one wins out. So this is my uh, third favorite. It goes bullet, base game, dagger, and then coin. There are definitely some cool powers and different things that I haven't seen in any of the silver sets yet. And I'm definitely cool that uh, I, I absolutely love this box. So I'm going to be keeping all my cards because you can choose which one you want to do that in and have my ultimate deck in this one right here but not really a set that I think you absolutely need, though it would be a good one if you wanna add just to the base set. Um, again, I think Bullet would be the first one to get to if you wanna get an expansion, but this would be the next one in my opinion. A good set, I recommend it. If you like a lot of these powers or if you're into the silver set, you can't go wrong with this one right here. So thank you so much again for providing us with this review copy and thank you so much, Fine Nation, for tuning in to this review. I will have one more video Video on the series of silver showing my ultimate deck and other than that we'll be wrapping up there so if you haven't already click like and subscribe and until the next time that I see you have a great rest of your day and a great time with all that you play I'm out everybody bye Vine Nation, we love making content here for you on the channel and we're almost at 10,000 subscribers so subscribe now and help us out this video right here, I think you'll like. This video right here, YouTube thinks you'll like. Or you can just sit here and watch me dance the dinosaur for a little bit longer. You can visit us at our social media outlets, and we're going to be improving our Patreon here soon. That's all for today. Miko, it's time to go. Good girl, Miko.